As you have learned, current is sent to the filament when the exposure switch is pressed halfway. As electrons pass through the filament, thermionic emission causes electrons to gather in a cloud surrounding the filament. This cloud is called a space charge. The space charge is a specific size for a given MA setting. The larger the MA setting, the larger the size of the space charge and vice versa. Therefore, the MA setting determines the size of the reserve of electrons or the space charge that is available to be sent to the anode. Applying a small force or KVP will cause some electrons to travel towards the anode. Increasing the force or the KVP will increase the number of electrons that travel to the anode. At high levels of KVP, a large majority of the electrons from the space charge are sent towards the anode. As you have learned, increasing the KVP 15% for a given MA or mass setting will double the density of the image. These illustrations show you how the 15% rule relates to the force or KVP applied in the x-ray tube, but this isn't always the case. At extreme KVP settings, the force becomes great enough to send the entire space charge toward the anode, leaving no reserve. With no reserve of electrons or when the space charge is depleted, increasing the KVP further will no longer increase the density on the image. This phenomenon is called saturation current and happens at extreme KVP settings when the MA setting is too low. Luckily, the X-ray circuit contains a device called a space charge compensator to prevent saturation current from happening. Its job is to make small adjustments to MA to maintain a space charge. As the KVP gets to extreme levels, the space charge compensator automatically kicks in and increases the current to the filament giving us a space charge once again.